You could say tiredness and fatigue is part of cycling, and I guess they are, but what we can do is delay the onset of fatigue and tiredness, implement some tricks and tips to get you riding for longer and faster. Now this is my favorite one, and it doesn't even involve this bike. No, it involves this one. Right, old boy. This way, you can sleep and ride at the same time. Go on then, Dad. I guess I'll see you in the next video. Oh no, it's the intro. <laughs>
For those longer rides of more than an hour, then it's worth taking food with you. So taking some sport nutrition bars and gels will help you keep those carbs, those glucose, those sugar levels nicely topped up throughout your ride. The longer the ride though, the more food you'll need to take. So make sure you pack some good food. Off we go. I'm just 20 miles from home. One thing I will say is make sure you pace your effort. Don't come up with this elaborate plan, big elaborate route. Go out too hard too early because you'll only end up struggling to make it home. So work your way up to those longer rides and go nice and easy, nice and steady and make sure you get to the finish. Using something like this, a bike computer or a bike head unit will help you track the distance you're going and the speed you're going at. Now this is really useful when you're heading out on a route. You know exactly how long on that route is left, that way you don't go too hard too early. Using a heart rate monitor is also a really good way to manage your exertion. So you can use those heart rate zones just to see, uh, well, to manage those workouts so you don't overexert yourself. So I'll put that back on there and I'm good to go. Taking breaks is another great way to ensure you're staying out of the red and you're managing your tiredness. So don't be afraid. Listen to your body and if you feel that bit tired on a ride, then take a break, sit down, relax, get your breath back, regroup, and then you can go again. All right, five minute nap, and I'll be good to go. Try riding with a friend or with a group. The great thing about cycling is it's a sociable sport. You can have a good conversation while exercising, and it's also good because it well, distracts you from the workload you're putting out. I mean, I've been on big group rides, got back home and just realized how far I've been because I've been so engrossed in the conversation. I mean, it looks a bit odd because I'm on my own and I'm telling you guys to ride with friends or with a group. But in actual fact, well, one, I've got you with me through the camera and I've also got my lovely creator, film camera. You! And lastly, choose a good time to ride. Some people love the mornings, they feel energized, they hear the birds singing, the sun rising, and they're super motivated for their ride. Others will like the evening rides where they feel they've done a good day's work and they're liking seeing the sun going down. Making sure you're maximizing on all that energy is really important. What I would say though is shy away from the night riding. Your body's ready to rest, sleep, and your energy levels will be quite low. So unless you're like me and, well, you take on rather stupid challenges through the night, then, well, I would keep to morning or early evening rides if I were you. Now get in a good routine and try and put some of these tips into practice. And now I hope that it will help you last that little bit longer on the bike. If you enjoyed this video and it's helped, then make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if there's anything I missed that you think deserves to be in this list, then let me know, yeah, you know, in that comment section below. And I guess, well, I'll see you in the next video. I mean, how cool is this shot? See if I can let go. You ready? Yup! Yup! <laughs> yeah, it's a bit scary actually. I'm gonna leave that for next time. Right. Ciao, Bella! Oh, now the video's done, it's, uh. Well, now for my taxi home. Dad! No, Dad! 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 <laughs>